welcome back to my channel. Don't worry, it is dark, I promise. There's a point to this. We're coming to you from somewhere else in my house today where I'm not in my craft room, but there's a reason for that. My craft room's super bright and what I have to show you looks awesome in the dark, so you can kinda see it there, but what we're making today is one of these awesome buckets that light up. A lot of people use these for camping buckets. You see a lot of people that put them at their campsite. I don't really go camping, so mine is going to go on my porch, and I picked this super cute, simple design from Design Space that says, welcome to the chaos, because that's what my house is, is always chaos. So, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you back up to my craft room, show you about this puck light that's in here that's making this bucket look super amazing. And then I'm gonna show you how I put this decal on this bucket using the hinge method of vinyl application, which is super easy and you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and go back up to the bright room and I'll show you this light and how awesome it is and tell you where you can get it and show you how to make the bucket. So let's talk about this light really quick. This is a puck light from 651 Vinyl. Not too big, it's not very heavy, but it's super awesome. So when you get it, you're gonna unscrew the backing, just like this, and you are going to put in three AAA batteries. Your remote will have a pull tab at the bottom, like some toys and other random things do. So you're gonna pull that out, and that's gonna make your remote work. Now the cool part about the remote is you can cycle through all 12 colors, and these four, different modes of how the light works. So you can turn it on and you can go through a smooth transition, which is gonna just cycle through all of them. There is a fade, there's a strobe, and then there's a flash. So you can do that and make it go through all the colors, or if you don't wanna do that, you could pick one color and make it stay there. That works well for holiday themed buckets if you don't wanna go through them all. Say you're doing something for Valentine's Day or Easter, you can use pink or you can use red or green for Christmas, and you can use orange for Halloween. Whatever you make your bucket for, you can pick a color, you can cycle through the colors, whichever you want. Since mine's not really holiday specific, mine's gonna cycle through all the colors, which I think looks super cool. So now that I talked about this light, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this bucket and show you how you can make an awesome porch decoration in just a little bit. So I've gone ahead and I've already cut out my decal and put some transfer tape on it. We'll talk about that in just a second. Some other things you're gonna need are some painter's tape or masking tape, some scissors, your squeegee or whatever tool you use to burnish on your design, and you'll need your bucket. And of course, you will need your awesome color-changing puck light. I might just leave it on so you can watch it change colors. So I'm gonna move that up there. And we're gonna talk real quick about prepping your bucket and about this vinyl. So with anything plastic or glass or any surface that you're gonna put a permanent vinyl on, you really wanna clean it with some alcohol. That's gonna remove anything that was on the bucket from where it was stored at or being in the store or shipping or anything like that. Just to make sure you're gonna get a really good stick with your vinyl on your bucket. So once you do that, you're gonna grab your decal. Now I used a matte 651 on this, which it's a little bit different than the regular glossy, not by much, just a few things. Um, it is permanent. It smells a little different, <laughs> if that is something that would bother you. It smells a little different, it's a little stronger. It's a little stretchier, not by much, but a little bit. But something to keep in mind is using Dollar Tree contact paper as your transfer tape might not work for this. It needs something a little better than that. I am not personally a fan of using the Dollar Store contact paper. It just doesn't work out for me. So I use a medium tack from 651 or wherever you wanna buy it. Um, that's my go-to. It works for pretty much everything that I use. So when I cut this, since some settings have changed a little bit in design space, there's some pressure changes and stuff like that. I cut this on the vinyl setting with more pressure and it cut through perfect. So cut it on there just to be on the safe side. Not sure when 
or why it changed pressure wise, but it has been a little different lately. So just make sure to do a test cut if you're unsure of what you're cutting and if it's gonna cut through. Don't cut your whole design if you aren't sure that it's gonna work. It'll just lead to some tears with all that wasted material. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean by this hinge method. Now you might've heard of it. I'll turn this off and I'm gonna use my light as a stopper for my bucket here. You might've heard of it. It's pretty simple. It might change your life forever. Who knows? So it's really good for large decals like this and decals that are going on curved surfaces. So really, we're kind of doing both here. So you're gonna wanna line up your decal. Now mine is centered. I'm centering this bottom point with this little hole here that was for my handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and center that and to make sure my bucket doesn't move here. And I'm gonna take my transfer tape. Now you leave your backing on your vinyl. Don't take your backing off, because you don't want it to be sticky. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your painter's tape and you're gonna stick it right over your decal, trying not to move it. Stick it there. You're probably like, what is she doing? How does this even work? It's like magic, it's pretty awesome. So now your decal is stationary, it's not gonna move. So this tape acts like a hinge for your decal, right? So what you're gonna do is you're going to remove one side. You're gonna pull back your transfer, leaving it on the backing still. So you're gonna pull it away from the backing and you're gonna pull it away just about halfway through, okay? And then you're gonna cut this off. So you're gonna go ahead and just take your scissors, hold down the transfer and remove that backing so it's out of the way. Just like that. So once you cut that piece of your backing off, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna lay this back down. Now, I like to turn mine to the side here, grab my squeegee, and you're just gonna kinda gracefully push it down from the start of your decal. Now this is gonna help you avoid any bubbles. It's gonna help you lay your design pretty straight. If you do happen to lay it down a little funky, you can pick it back up and fix it just like that. So you just wanna carefully squeegee it down, making sure it goes on nice and even. Just like that. you have that half on and you can go ahead and flip your bucket you can remove your painters tape and then you can take this half pull it back just like you did the first half peel your backing off and then we're going to do the same thing now you got to be a little more careful with this side because the whole thing is there so if it sticks it's going to stick so just, like I said, kind of start in the middle, work your way out, and just kind of press it down nice and even. Make sure you're getting everywhere before you lay a new piece down so you don't get it bunched up. Go ahead and burnish it on. sure you're burnishing it on there really well so when you pull your transfer tape it's not going to stick to any of your letters. There we go. So something like that, like a really big design, sometimes they're really hard to get to set down easily without making them all crazy looking. So when you pull your transfer tape back, make sure you're going to roll it. I just lay it down kind of on top of itself like this and just roll it back. You don't want to pull it at a 90 degree angle because then you'll likely pull your vinyl up with it. So everything you do with vinyl, I mean, it does kind of have its own little technique. So I found it easiest if you just lay it on to the stuff that isn't unstuck yet, lay it onto itself and just kind of roll it back. It's a little difficult to do with this bucket because this bucket wants to move all over the place. 
but that's also going to help you prevent any bubbles because you're not pulling your vinyl up. Your vinyl is going to stay flat. It's not going to try and pull up because you're rolling this away from it instead of pulling it away from it. Go ahead and keep pulling there. Just like that. And super easy. Have the hinge method. Really big decal, it's centered, it's straight, and it's on this round bucket perfectly. There's no bubbles. And I mean, really, doing that without using the hinge method would actually be pretty, pretty difficult. I know I would struggle with it, and I don't usually have problems with vinyl application, but something that big is definitely cause for concern. So it's really bright in my room because it's still morning here, but you can see you stick your light in the bucket, stick your lid on, and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna put this on my porch because there's like a whole lot of kids in my house. I have three super crazy rambunctious boys all under the age of five and my house is always chaos. So since I'm not camping or anything like that, I decided to go with a design like this because this truthfully is how the inside of my house is on most days. But I mean, if you think about it, you can do these for anything. You can get these buckets anywhere, Walmart, the hardware store, you can order them off of Amazon. It doesn't matter where you get them, but you can use them for anything. You can make a Christmas bucket, a Halloween bucket, uh, any holiday you want. I mean, and then just move your light around and put your light in to the different buckets for the different holidays. And then it's super cute. It lights up really well. It looks awesome in the dark, which you saw in the beginning. and. It's, it's a fun idea. Whoever came up with it is pretty, pretty smart. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. As always, happy crafting. See you later, guys.